Hello and welcome to another train review video. This is on the Hornby Railroad R2669 train pack. Now this is actually my third attempt at recording today. Mainly because I keep getting distracted by my family and it's not very good. So it's a full um well it's got four different things in it and this basically is just the little booklet that came inside that box there saying how to well, how to take care of it and how to well, it's a small little section on DCC readying it but I don't really think anyone's going to need to DCC fit it on I know I won't because I don't really have one and this important bit, well, especially this one, um, absolute no reason for having that point there, because it says, only remove the locomotive from the packaging by carefully pushing through the finger holes below and carefully lifting. Now, if I just remove this, well, the locomotive itself, there's no finger holes. So if we get into looking at the detail of the locomotive, now it's not going to be high in detail, but for the price I paid, which was, if I get the receipt out, because I also brought this, which I'll be reviewing at a later date, it's 31256, but if I get the receipt out, it's somewhere in the bag. somewhere in here indeed but there it is so I went to Hawkins Bazaar in Leamington Spa and I got 10% off both of these and this is normally £43 this set but I only paid £38.70 because I got 10% off because they were doing a deal and altogether both of the two train packs, or both of the two models, cost me £95.40. And I actually brought this on the 22nd of the 3rd, and it's now like the 12th of the 5th, 4th even, 12th of the 4th even. And that just proves that I've not had a lot of time. Right, so let's look at the detail. For the price I paid, it's quite nice, but it would be nice if there was actually plastic or glass in these holes and actually detail inside, other than just being able to see the motor. Right, so but I'll put that on the track. to looking at this wagon here. Now this wagon and this wagon are exactly the same wagon and the basically because it's budget it's not exactly the best but they're still quite nice maybe if I got a weathering kit and weft it down they could be a lot nicer Right, so if I put both of these on the track. You don't have to put them on the track in this order, I'm just putting it in this order because, well, it looks nicer. No, that's not on. Definitely not on. There we go. That's on. Right, and then the final wagon. Very, very basic. I mean, if I just tap this, the entire thing shakes. Maybe because it's hollow inside and so it has to go round. Now, this isn't DCC ready or anything, so not going to be easy to make it DCC fitted. Um, detail 
for what you pay is roughly 10 out of 10 maybe 9 or 8 8 to 10 out of 10 right so we just move it back a bit set the point the correct way and give it a bit of juice now the placerate is just a sh basic shunter in general so it this is a full juice so, so it doesn't really go that fast but it's it's really realistic that way and I just stop it when it executes around oh no it's shorted out there we go now that is Nice. It's making a noise because I haven't fully turned it off. It's slowly moving forward, so you can see there. Handy. So if, we, if I just move the train forward, so you can get a better look at it. it. Now it runs really smoothly on the track. Except for that stall just there, well, just there on the point. But other than that, it runs quite nicely, and I think that will do for this video. So I would recommend this to anyone that's starting out in rail model railroading. And um, that's all. So thanks for watching, and um, see you on the next video, whenever that will be.